Hi all, I just thought I'd say hello from the studio because then I can show you some of the sketchbook work that I've been doing and I did say that I was going to keep you in touch with my journey. Here you go, this is my painting wall and as you can see from that I have been busy doing lots of little paintings but we are moving on to larger paintings soon. I've got the canvases, I'll just show you out in the corner there to get started. Just started Find Your Joy as well, and you can see that there's loads of paper stuff that I've been doing in the corner as well. And now I'm just going to show you my sketchbook. I want to catch you up, and then I wanted to talk just briefly about what's going on in Deb Chatfield Art, just so that those on my list are, are aware. I went on a course with Lewis Noble. You can have a look at Lewis Noble's processes on YouTube. I tend to like collage, which is related to something I've done. So collaging from my sketches was perfect. This is just from the garden. There's something that happened whilst we were out and you can see the pigeons, whereas the previous one, also in our garden, was showing the shadow on the fence. We had a new fence, so there's a lot to just on fences. This is where I started to experiment and trying to ab abstract a little more. And I was just using the shapes and that from what I'd done. Yes. And then I went out also and painted the Inverbisher, which is, as it happens, Lewis Noble's stomping ground, but it wasn't deliberate. I happened to be there because I'm not that far away, really. Just looking here, you can see that I've started to focus in on certain things like the fence. I'm using the collage and almost framing. My last series was nature framed and you can see that that's coming out again and there's a lot of trees as well coming in and they're things that have happened repeatedly in my work. So it's interesting. So as you look back through any sketches and things that you've done, it doesn't have to be sketches if you've never painted before and you want to paint. It might be that you look back at your photographs, that sort of thing, things that have interested you really and just to pay attention so it'll help you to move forward in what you want to do and then we'll move on to oh this is here from a demo again the trees are coming in i went on a painting holiday so uh, we went to thurnham hall in lancashire and we had a wonderful time and whilst i was there we were painting in a more traditional way but when i was there i just had a go at a demo so i only had a sheet of paper and i've just worked from that I quite like it. Now I'm coming to when Lydia and I went out. So over the summer, the great news is I got a camper van, which was fantastic. We had a wonderful summer. We could go out with family. I could go out with George. I can go touring with George. All those sorts of things that I wanted to do. But also, me and Lydia always used my little car as a bit of an art car. So we stored things in there. And so in between the holidays and the breaks and other things that we want to do with the camper van, I always envisaged using the camper van as an art van. And so our, our first outing is Shropshire Hills and it, it's just turning into autumn and the colours, I mean, there was heather there, but there was, you can start to see a little bit of the heather, but it was the way that the light was catching on the hills. It was beautiful. It was very bright. Lydia did a plein air painting and hers was also bright. The Heather. These were done actually on a painting holiday with Carol Baker. And sometimes when you look back at something many years later and you think, oh, yeah, okay. I can see that. And you're like, okay, another one. This was way before. The other thing I've done is I started to do more concertina style sketchbooks. And this one, I just did in the garden. I just put blobs of ink in advance and I'm loving this sort of giving myself something to work against. It's exactly the same as giving yourself something to work against when you've got the collage. What I mean by that is there's something in being able to just have a look around and work with something you've already got. So that blob of ink, I'll look round in the garden and go, what does that remind me of? And this actually now, so here, we've got part of the 
maple tree. And there's been a lot of changes in our garden, so it's quite nice to record some of the garden before it all changed. The rocks. Oh, the, and this is a this is something that I sketched quite a long time ago, and I incorporated that in as well as a collage. And I, I've just really enjoyed doing this. So I just thought I'd show you. So now I'm going to get on to news because I'm going to send this out to the list. And I just wanted to let people know that I've done a lot of work over the summer with my website. So I'll put a link to my website below for anybody who's not been on my website. And I have also, I'm working on redoing all of my workshops. So my workshops are going to be more in line with my new work. So I've got abstract workshops and I've still got workshops that are more, they're, they're called nature inspired. And I'll just show you. This was done at one of my nature inspired workshops. See the collage influence. I didn't collage anything into this, but I created the composition from photographs when I'd been out and then I sort of ripped up the composition and created a, a composition that I then have taken onto the canvas. So everything knocks on, despite the fact that I was doing just a sunflower workshop and different people did it in their own styles. The styles are now coming through onto other pieces of work as well. So it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. And I've just started a 12-week course. I've still got my art mentor in the background. I've got workshops planned right until the middle of next year. And then I've got nothing planned for the end of the next year because I plan to go to art fairs and start selling the art in venues that are slightly bigger to, than what I've sold before. And I'm hoping that at the end of next month, I'm going to open up to sell the smaller paintings. I'll put them online. But I'm also going to have an open studio and just invite you in and have a chat because so many things have changed. And then I can chat to you and tell you all about what's going on because I've never been so excited about my art as I am now. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you because it's time to share and it would be really great for you to see where I'm at now, particularly those who've been on my list for years and years and they've seen me grow over the years and they've seen where I'm at. So. This is really exciting. If you like this video and you'd like to follow my journey into abstraction, then please subscribe, like, all those things that they always ask you to do. And if you're interested in any of my workshops, I'll put a link below to the workshops or sign up to my list and in October you get 20% off. So bye for now and I shall see you soon.